Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we have Levi God Mode for you, or Levi Beast Mode. It goes kind of by a lot of names. It's basically the one with the blood in his face. So, uh, I'm on a landscape page, use a pencil and an eraser. Take your time, try have fun. Hit pause if I go too fast, okay, when I move my hand, right? So we're close up on his face, right? So we're real close up, top of his head cut off. We got a bit of an arm coming across here. You could, you can put that in or leave that out. It's kind of up to you. But we'll start with his eye anyway. So center point of my page is right here and that's where we're gonna start. And we're gonna do big sort of curved line up around his eye, okay? We'll curve this around here. It's real big, right? And you can thicken this line up. It's hard to actually make these lines out in the image I'm drawn from, but we'll put them in as if they were drawn in. And then this kind of hooks down back this way. And then you can kind of shade that in like that. Kind of standard sort of anime eye shape. A lot of animes use this eye shape, right? Line across with a hook, okay? So then the bottom eyelid line comes up around like so. Like that, okay? As well, so he's all like freaking out and stuff. So there can be like stress lines and stuff coming around his, the bottom of his eye, you know, tension lines, sort of just to give it some energy. And then his iris, real small, right? So it's like, he's looking down. So it's like, it's at the bottom of his eye, down here, and his pupil in the middle, right? Relatively small iris compared to the rest of his eye. Gives him that more intense sort of look. Okay, so. Then the eyebrow. So the eyebrow sort of comes, hooks down here, right? And then come up across his eye, right? And it goes right up, real long, and hooks down the back there. He's real long, skinny eyebrows, Levi. And this comes up as well. And then sort of goes, pokes back down here. And we might as well just color these black, it's easier. I'm just trying to make this a little bit pointier back here. Okay, and he could have some lines just on the edge of his eye there, and perhaps a bit of an eyelid line just coming down here and maybe in there. Okay, so his other eye, right? So it's smaller than this one, because his head is turned away, right? So I guess the easiest thing to do would be maybe get the eyebrow in, right? So, because it kind of hooks around here in a similar fashion, right? Now we're higher up, because we're in three quarter pose. That means this side of his face is smaller than this side, okay? It's turned away perspective, right? So we're kind of got a bit of a head tilt going this way. So we're not flat, we're diagonal, okay? And then we're gonna go up like so. So real vertical now. So we're going up. This one's kind of normal flat, but this one goes up vertically and then hooks over there. Okay, kind of counterintuitive, doesn't make sense to a lot of people when they see this. It's like, why is that eyebrow? So should it not be going that way? No, it's because his head is squished and tilted by perspective on this side. So it's much smaller. Okay, if you look in a mirror, sort of, and turn your head away, you'll see it in your own head. 
So, and again, you can thicken up some of this eyebrow. Right. And then his eye comes out sort of from here. Right. And look how high up we are now. We're above this eyebrow. Right. So if you drew a horizontal line across here, you know, that's where that's where this eye starts above the eyebrow. And then it comes out to there. And then it hooks back down. Like so. And in to here and back up underneath right so again look at the angle compared to this one we're well turned you know we're not straight we're way up here okay this eye starts higher up you know if you just looked at it on its own and then looked at that one okay and again you can thicken up these eyelid lines So take your time now when you're doing faces like these, you know, and really try to line things up and you know, the eye starts there on that side and it's smaller than this eye, you know, it's not the same sort of width. It's about three quarters the size of this eye. It's a smaller eye because it's turned away. So really take your time and try and copy that as best you can. And then his iris, so just in here, looking down towards the bottom down here so again you can add sort of an eyelid line just coming across sort of stress lines underneath his eyes you know bags underneath his eyes and stuff like that so we do his nose and his mouth then so his nose real wrinkly right so he's got like he's you know, really angry. There's all these wrinkles and things on it coming up around his face. You know, lots of these sorts of angry lines. And then his nose will go diagonal down this way. And then it sort of hooks around and down the middle. There like that. And then we have a nostril this side. And we also will have a few more sort of wrinkle lines coming out on his nose here. Like this kind of stuff. Okay. And like you can do as much of that kind of stuff as you want, you know, you can add like extra sort of hatching lines in the middle to give it even more drama like this, you know, if you want it. Not essential, but you know, it's just optional and you can add more wrinkles on his nose. You know, make it your own sort of, add your, put your own stamp on it, you know. Um, right, so his mouth then down here, right? So we've got like top lip, right? So he's gritting his teeth. So his top lip curves, curves like this first. And then it comes down for the side of his mouth. It sort of goes down here. Like so, right? And then the other side of his lip comes out here. And then we've got sort of teeth in here, right? So we got like two bumps. And then his bottom lip comes across. So this is like relatively complicated, so take your time. Like so, it kind of touches ooh, just there. And then his teeth will come across and his top lip, so we we'll do the top lip in first, I guess. So the top lip just comes across here. Like so, and there could be like hatching lines on this top lip there. 
and then teeth lines spiking sort of coming across like so spiking like that and there might be an extra line just on the edge of his mouth just here Right, so he looks pretty scary. Okay, so the general shape for his face then, right. So, well, first we have actually a bottom lip line just in here. Like so. And then his chin and his jaw. So his chin is slightly covered by his arm, but we'll, we'll draw it in, right, so his chin comes down around here, right? It's a real sort of pointy chin that Levi has. And in terms of proportion of things, top of, let's say the eyebrow actually, top of the eyebrow to the nose, about the same as nose to chin, right? Usually it's the eye, but we're just, everything's sort of bigger on the top of his head here. So eyebrow to nose, top of his eyebrow to the nose, about the same as nose to chin, right? And then the bottom of his nose to his bottom lip is about the same as bottom lip to chin, just here to here, okay? That's your rough proportions, right? And then we'll go up for the side of his face on this side, right? So we're going straight up again, fairly vertical now, kind of curves in at first and then goes out. And then he comes out around for his cheek, there. And then we'll go up, around his brow, and then up for his forehead. So it goes around here, and up towards the top of his head. Okay, so around the brow, goes in for his eye, subtle curves. So out, in, out, and then in, and then out for his chin. Okay, so we've got his cheek just here, right? Now the other side, it's kind of a standard sort of jaw line, right? So it's gonna go out like so, and sort of curve up towards his ear here. So then we have his sideburn just here. And his ear then is in here, right? So his ear will come around and some of his hair covers his ear. So we might have to erase some of this, but his ear basically comes out like so in down joins the jaw. And if you went diagonally, you know, the top of the ear lines up with the top of the eyebrows and his bottom of the ear lines up for his, lines up with his nose going this way, you know, traveling across here, roughly sort of lines up with these. And then bones and ligaments on the inside. So I always say the easiest way is a letter J like that. It's a good way to get started anyway. And then you can add more detail. Around like that. And there's like some hatching in here. Okay, so now it's hair, right? So this is probably the the trickiest part of Levi. So Take your time to get his hair, because his hair really is characteristic. So. Let's, let's just go. There's no easy way to do this, really. So. So we got like. A 
come across here, a small spike there. There's a cluster back here and then a big fringe, different sort of fringe levels here. So we'll do the cluster at the back of his head first. And then this comes up here. Like so, and then we got like a longer one, comes down over his ear. And if you go over any lines, you should be using a pencil. So you can just erase like the ear lines or color over them, that's easier. So, and then another one there, more here, So, and then this comes out. This kind of goes up that way then. And then we have a couple more sticking out here. That, right, so now we've got loads of fringe that comes along this way. So. Next one comes down here. Cross his eye. And this goes back up. And then we have one that crosses that one, comes in across here. Then goes back up. And get into there. And then, so. across here and this comes down across his eye as well. And then we'll go back up. And then this one comes down to there. And up to there. And then up like so. Right, so then we sort of change direction. We start to change direction here. There's like one that comes across here. Difficult to see. Right, so one there and then comes down that way. Is that right? I'm not sure. Let's see, we go up like that. And then there's like a single strand here. So now I think there's one that goes across this way. So it goes across. Yeah, it goes across and down to that eye. So this one's different now to these. Comes across and down to there. And then this one, the other side of it. So this is gonna join, come around and join his forehead. So it kind of gets to here and then we carve it around down right and then we have a bit of a forehead line here right so we got like this sort of zigzag forehead area like hairline just coming across there and this is extra like hairlines and texture lines inside like that we could like bring some of his hair up a bit further Mm -hmm. OK, 
okay and then pieces of fringe that come out the opposite side right so maybe there's like an extra line here actually that comes out down to there maybe texture line like that so. right so now fringe comes out this way and it comes quite long to there spike it in and we've got like three or four of these so spike it down like so and this is gonna go pretty much up to the top of my page there and you might have like something maybe coming in that way like so and then some like extra sort of hairlines and texture lines and stuff here and then there's some more hair that like comes down here a lot of hair on Levi So, another line there. A couple more that stick out this side. Like so, and of course, like these were like real fine at the bottom, real fine spikes. Like so. And a couple more then up the top. Sticking out here. Like that, and then going in this way somewhere. roughly like that okay so now we'll do all that blood in his face right so we're just gonna draw it in it's it's not really drawn in in the anime it's done with like red color but we gotta draw it in just so you know where everything is so we're just adding blobs here so this is red inside this is skin color Skin color. Inside here, and then it runs down his face and his nose. Like inside here, around these wrinkles on his face. Skin color there. This comes up. Around his eye, blobs sort of coming down his face and his cheek. His whole face is covered. Like so, another one here. And then on the other side, underneath his eye. Like so, okay. Um, right, we'll do we'll do this arm, and he's got some, um, you know, his blade and stuff. So it's kind of complicated, right? So it's like comes across his chin. Sorry, now moving my chair, making loads of noise. Uh, right, so so his arm comes right across his chin. Okay, so like. So it comes across his chin here. And it comes across like so and over. So this arm goes like across the whole length of like the page nearly. So we've got like his cloak in here and his arm. So the arm, so line for his arm and his cloak starts maybe underneath his ear. So like here, so the arm should sort of descend like down this way, 
okay. Um, and then, so this this is like some of this cloak going back that way. And then go up, top of his arm, sleeve, just here. Okay. And then we can see some more of his cloak coming around his head. Okay. So like going this way. Up around his ear. Right. And we can see his shirt and his neck and stuff inside here. So. Comes around underneath his chin. Like a neck muscle sort of area there. And another line for his shirt collar and some lines for neck and shirt collar and stuff in there. Okay, so then another full line for cloak comes around his head. And another one goes up this way. And like the back of it somewhere down here. And like back of it that. And then back of his hood down off my page just there. Maybe like comes in at some point down back here. Um, like another line for his arm. Line that way. And that way. So they're just like fold lines and stuff. All right. So now his hand holding his blade. So we go up. All right. And then we got knuckles. So one knuckle. Two. So we're kind of going up like steps of the stairs now. Three. Four, okay. And each of these correspond to fingers that go into the handle of his sword. So let's see, we go across, down. So this hand is like real close to us, so it's real big, okay. Then the next one goes across down like that next one again cross down and then his little finger cross down Right, so then that box-like handle, right? So it comes out from here. And then we'll bring it down like so, right? And then it'll go diagonal across the bottom of these fingers. And then diagonal down there. And then each of these fingers has to kind of go in, right? So it goes into it like a box here. And then back around the back of that finger. And you, so you should see a little bit more of this finger. Right? So it's like going in to a gap in there. And then his little finger as well. Going into like a hole, right? That's what you kind of a square hole, and then his hand comes back this way. Okay, so this is really complicated now. So take your time. So let's see. We've got like a 
goes back that way. Right, and then we have, we'll just do the big parts, I guess, first. So we've got like a big cylinder here. So when you're doing mechanical things, it's always just slow and tedious. Like that, right? And out from that comes like that bike brake handle type thing. So that goes. That way. And then we'll bring this out around to there. And then we've got another side. So, line here, there, line there. All right, so then there's like a rope or something that curves out here, snakes sort of out, back up like that. Okay, and then so this is like lines and details down here. And this goes into a segment, like a V or a triangle sort of place here. Okay. And then this has all lines on it. So I guess it's like a tube, you know, anyone who cycles bike, you know, it's that literally looks like a bike brake handle. Um, right, so then our blade, right, will come out, start to come out here. That way. And then you might need a ruler now for the segment so it goes from here. So where's my ruler? So we'll go, how far? Out to here, right? So real big. Okay. And then the bottom comes out from up here somewhere. So, okay. And then there's another section inside here. So it's got like lines on it like so. Like that and sort of rectangles in here. Like so, and then, and then there's all blood on it. So like lots of blobs of blood. Like that. And then I think another line that goes diagonal up here. And then change direction and go across that way. Like that. And then there's a line going from here to here. Like that. So that's like the sharp edge of it. And then we have the other side. So we go up diagonal here. And it comes around his chin. Well, it nearly touches his chin up around here. And then we go in like so. And then this comes across. And then we have another diagonal box like that. Down. 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 Across. there like 
another box inside here. And dividing line there. Then another line goes diagonal this way. Oops, there. Then around there. Something else here. So I'm sure I've lost loads of people right now. <laughs> but um, there's just, there's no easy way of doing these types of things. You just have to just suck it up and kind of try your best, you know. Um, and there's a bit of a line underneath here. Comes across like so, down to there. Like that. Okay, so then more cloak, right, comes up this way. So it's like blowing in the wind. Goes up to there. And, you know, fold lines. Collar. My Sharpie's wasting. And then this comes down. Some of his hand like comes down here. So and down around there. So it's like his hand inside. Like so, and I think we can see his thumb just there. Like so. Back of the handle goes off that way. Kind of got these crisscross lines on them. Fair play to anyone, by the way, who has followed this far. And then some of his arm then comes out. From here, so it's gonna go. bumping because it's like lots of fold lines like a big bumpy line like that and then the opposite side it's got some maneuver gear on it so it goes like that and then straps right so there's a strap going down here like that I think another strap here but I'm not sure. Could be a strap. Could be a fold. So like there's like fold lines here. Fold lines there. There. And then the line that comes across here. A piece of metal. And then this comes back to a circle. Alright. So. I'll just erase some of the lines that we shouldn't see, like for his chin and maybe some of his hair and his eyes and stuff. All right, but I think that that's the best I can do. So I hope it helped you out. Hope it helped someone out anyway. It's pretty complicated drawn, but uh, looks pretty cool. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.